Try this one, you know. <clears throat> so Jasmine is busy all weekend. So sad, lonely, all by myself. So we got to get caught up on all of the the comment replies, so that uh, she can be behind again. So, uh, for uh, only the few people who are watching are already aware that Jasmine is not a Mormon. Missionaries came knocking on the door, and and uh, she read the Book of Mormon from the Joseph Smith Papers, along with other stuff from the Joseph Smith Papers, and learned that the missionaries are lying to her. And so she doesn't understand why she should join the church and pay the church money when they're lying to her. Right, Mormons? So, on my video, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints murdered Joseph Smith. Yeah, I read the Joseph Smith papers, too. She says, good afternoon, Travis. Again, Travis. Thank you for signing to me. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> One of your more, one of your recent previous videos, I heard your Elvis. It was pretty good. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you grow up with a mom who used to throw her underwear on stage. <laughs> mom, mom. Why only pray about subtitles? Not first Nephi. Now, why Mormons? And Mormons don't care about signs. Because it's prophesied they won't care about signs. And they don't believe in prophecy anyway. John 6, 28 to 36. Alma 32, 16 and 19. And here's the potential day that shall burn as an oven. In the coming days, everybody will be dead. Nobody cares. They're eating, drinking, and getting married. <clears throat> Saving America from doom. Because <sighs> they don't believe Joseph is a prophet, so they're going to prove he's false. <sighs> and then prove the Book of Mormon true. So, uh, let's see. She tries to comment when she can. The weekends are hectic for her. So, yeah, today she's got three gigs to do. And then Sunday is going to be busy, too. I sent her a YouTube video of asking her if that's what it's like. There are people who put the YouTube DJing online. So I just I want to know. Jasmine is a master DJ. I... Gave her a prophecy blessing before she went on her competition, saying that she would win, but that it would be rigged, and, and they'd try to keep her from winning. And, and so when Jasmine got back, she went, oh my god, you were right. <laughs> it's because... she's a young female how could she be good <laughs> she's now the master and she brings her scriptures <laughs> to college bars <laughs> she's the prophetess So, uh, yeah, she says the missionaries can't touch this because she has a pit bull named uh, Rasus and an arctic timber wolf named Echo that guard her and rip up her couch requiring a new one to be bought. If there is anything I find I don't believe, 
which is a lot. But she knows how to read and understand what she reads. Right, Mormons? Learning of the Jews, right? So Mormons all understand it's the Jewish religion, not Christianity. And so Mormons are knowingly wicked and evil. Right? Is that why? Because not stupid, that can't be the reason. Mormons knowingly worship Lucifer, call him Jesus, to deny Joseph Smith's Judaism. So here I am, wanting Zion my whole life, and it ain't gonna happen. Good job, Mormons, you suck. Uh, she will always come to me first, after going to others first. But I'm first on the... Second, <laughs> even before Wikipedia, yeah, because when it comes to the church, Wikipedia is tampered with by Mormons. I mean, you just look at uh, Brigham Young. Which number of president is he? Yeah, it ain't the second. There was the scandal. I have the picture. I saw it again today. I was thinking about putting it in, but I put in Brigham Young's profile instead. And so she says she is far from brilliant. She's superb. But thank you for thinking so. I'm not thinking. I don't think. This is opinion, Jasmine. I know. You're denouncing my prophecy and revelation about you? Even when you know I'm right? Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing in a prayer. Who could it be? That was one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid. Yep. I do need to get to watching that show eventually. It's the greatest American hero. That along with Superman. That's why I like the greatest American hero because he was more down to earth and real. He just put on the, the covenant underwear and he could fly. <laughs> just a <laughs> cape. <laughs> Why Mormons? You didn't even go to conference so you didn't hear Oaks and you don't understand. Oh my God. You get mad at me for watching conference and knowing exactly the threat to your lives, but you won't watch conference to know how absurd you guys are in the eyes of the rest of the world. Oh God. And so she says she doesn't see the bombshells in the questions which is why she comes to me. No, Jasmine, no, this is how you're supposed to read and study your scriptures for. Where Mormons have don't even bother to do that. It's foreign. Oh, strange. That's why the missionaries come over and say, Oh, you're reading the scriptures again, aren't you, Jasmine? Why can't you just pray and get the right feeling so that we can mark you down for baptism on Saturday? That's how inspiration comes. It's real simple. Anybody can do it. And so instead, it takes... Uh, during the Enlightenment period and the Middle Ages, you have people who, uh, to us, seem like they're like superhuman. And no, they just... they read. And they get inspired from it. <gasps> Jasmine! DJ party! Live on air! Because uh, Child Faith was asking about some guy. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Athanasius K. 
temperature. Sixteen oh two to sixteen eighty. And you know, there yeah, there are people who think he's a wacko, but that's because of the bias. He can't be true because the Catholic Church has to be true. And when you understand those contexts, then you can understand the witch trials. In which, you know, the husband got caught having an affair. And so to get away with his affair, he calls the woman a witch. <laughs> wow, Jasmine, awesome. So the, she's responding to the video I just talked about. So this applies to this video. Uh, she says, we have way more fun than that, I assure you. Yeah, because you bring your scriptures. <laughs> Every party's a party with scriptures. <laughs> and she says, normally she wears all black to the DJ gigs, like James does. Oh, you match, that's so cute. It's so cute. Where's pictures? Uh, but we dance and twerk and stuff like that. Uh, she's doing a Sweet 16 B-Day party for a set of twin red-headed girls. Wow. Lock those girls up in their bedrooms for the rest of their life. <laughs> So yeah, it's people who actually study, who develop theories using sound logical argument. You get inspired. This is how I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew. It was real easy, walked right into it. Nobody else was inspired, and so nobody else figured it out. And I guess I could do that video because I found a picture of uh, my instructor of Biblical Hebrew. So I was going to do a video on the whole deciphering thing. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it was just, he told us some clues and said that nobody could figure it out. And so with those clues, that was all I needed with Joseph Smith's King Follett sermon. And boom, six months later... Here I am, destroyed, trying to save Mormons' lives, and they want me dead. You can't have the gift, only Nelson, and we've changed the manuals to prove him true. So, yeah, and so Jasmine, by doing actual studying, is experiencing the actual, real, Spirit, not the warm, fuzzy boob feeling that the missionaries are wanting her to get, trying to manipulate her feelings, which is a 50-50 false dichotomy. That's how, you know, cult groups lure you in, take all your money and possessions, and then give you Kool-Aid with cyanide. And Mormons don't see how that's just stupid. Because then you start coming up with all these excuses of, you know, I really love that guy. He's just so cute. I think I just got myself pregnant by thinking about him. I feel good about it. Uh, I'm pregnant with your baby. What? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Where did you come from? You stalking me? <laughs> I'm 
getting desperate to the point that that might be the woman for me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happens when you actually study. You get inspired. When you're trying to assemble the pieces of the puzzle together, you get inspired. You receive revelation. It's real simple. Every Mormon should have been getting it all their lifetime, and they haven't. Because they've been led astray. And so, yeah, ever since I moved here to Utah back in 1996, I was working for the church. I'm going, oh my hell, this is Mormonism? Because... You know, I, I tell the story working at Beehive Clothing, and and uh, I've already deciphered Paleo Hebrew, and, and so I show up to work, and they have it set up so that the we have seven on our crew, and and uh, the work takes us all day, and we work forty hours a week. And only during the weekend or during the week but uh, because of the uh, overloaded work we have to come in on Saturdays to get caught up sufficiently to handle the the next influx of work on Monday from the sewing center and uh, you know I was told that this is the best we can come up with We've tried all kinds of ways, and none of them work. This is the best. And the guy who, who came up with it was still working there. And, uh, and so, yeah, it took that guy who came up with the best system they could come up with to uh, find a better job. And uh, losing the uh, manager... And replacing him with somebody else to uh, say yeah sure we'll try it your way and yeah crew of seven 40 hours a week plus overtime on Saturday down to two people four hours done for the rest of the day and so we just spend time you only need one person to handle the sewing floor influx and so two people in the four hours and then one for the rest of the day. And that's exactly what the church was praying for. Literally. Because they were wanting to figure out a way to get the beehive stuff all the way to the one on, on 17th and 19th. Uh, just down the road. And uh, they couldn't figure it out. And so, yeah, they were stuck. They're trying to do the best they can with the beehive clothing, but they didn't like it in that situation. They wanted to figure out how to, and they couldn't do it. All that time, all they did need to do was say, hey, Travis has got an idea. Why aren't you letting Travis try his idea? Let's find out if Travis's idea works. Nope. Because they didn't want to listen to me when I told them, don't put in the cranes for the pick line. It's going to be disastrous. Oh, no, no, no. These little college kids, they're smart. They're into this kind of stuff. And they're family members to some of the people that work here. And, and so we've approved this through the, the prophets. And, and so it's going to go all through. And they lost a million dollars that first year. And then the company blamed the workers for not knowing how to use the system right. See, this is what happens when you don't have revelation running your life. All hell breaks loose. Dogs and cats living together at Jasmine's home. Mass hysteria. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's, that's why I'm, I'm so impressed and in awe of Jasmine is because she's actually doing it right I just I have not seen anybody do this 
I mean, to actually see another person getting inspired. And I can't see the light coming on in Jasmine's eyes. I can't see her face to face when she gets that inspiration that comes to her to ask those kinds of questions. To see her when she's interrogating the missionaries, especially the greenies who come. <laughs> Jasmine has now become the missionary hazing for greenies. <laughs> So yeah, as missionaries, we're supposed to help Jasmine feel and recognize the spirit. Good job, Jasmine, you did it. You have succeeded. You have become the master of Mormonism, and you're not even baptized. <laughs> That's what's so sad and pathetic about this church, that Mormons have been led so far away from the Book of Mormon teachings that it takes somebody who's not a Mormon to use the Book of Mormon correctly to be better than Mormons. <sighs> so yeah, it's really that simple. See, next thing you know, Jasmine's going to be the rocket scientist. We're in a hot, sexy outfit too, I bet. And no pictures. <laughs> Won't send me pictures. <sighs> them myself and so yeah she has lots of questions as she reads especially in the Joseph Smith papers and so that has her questioning the Mormon church and their operations and so it's a good thing she's not a Mormon because she'd be referred to her stake president for disciplinary action and get booted out of the church <laughs> Not just because she's smarter than her stake president and the prophets, but because she's also female. You're not allowed to have priesthood authority in office. You're supposed to be a submissive blonde. <laughs> but Bishop. <sighs> and so uh, James has almost mastered AI ex boarding of pictures and videos and being able to tell that they are AI and she will send me videos not in the DJ party response <laughs> not in the DJ party response it's all yeah good for you Jasmine you figured it out <clears throat> she knows the spirit If you've not been following this playlist, you do not know what I just said. <laughs> 